The catastrophic climate impacts that you're so terrified of could come as early as 2040, unless the world seriously steps up. That's according to a new UN report. But most countries, especially the biggest contributors, don't seem to be up to the task. And one country is actively working to make matters worse. The TLDR of the report is that global temperatures are increasing, and fast. It says we could see temperatures rise by more than 1.5 degrees Celsius in just 20 years. In 2015, 195 countries signed the Paris Agreement, which set a worldwide goal of limiting temperature increase to 2 degrees Celsius. But the UN report says that that doesn't nearly go far enough, because with a 1.5 degree increase in temperatures, we're going to see substantial consequences. Think massive weather-related catastrophes. Record-breaking storms, heat waves, forest fires, coral bleaching, droughts, and flooding. The UN says that more has to be done, like yesterday. Limiting warming to 1.5 degrees is not impossible, but will require unprecedented transitions in all aspects of society. Only, not everyone's reacting with the same level of concern. Since the report came out, the European Union has agreed to a 35% CO2 reduction for new cars by 2030. But over in Australia... Uh, we'll look at this report. It was only a year ago the same report said that the mix of policies Australia had was right on the money. So um, this report, I should, should be very clear, deals with the global situation. This report does not provide recommendations to Australia. Then there's China and the United States, who together are responsible for almost 40% of the world's emissions. China, the world's worst emitter, contributes over a quarter of the world's emissions and it burns more coal than the rest of the world combined. But in the last two years, China has been at the forefront of implementing policies to curb climate change. With coal restrictions and incentivizing clean energy through a carbon market that has been described as the Mount Everest of climate policy. In 2017, China's CO2 emissions rose, and yet they're still ahead of schedule to meet their 2020 carbon intensity targets three years early. The problem is, their goals aren't ambitious enough. This isn't even enough to limit warming to two degrees. Conversely, the world's second biggest carbon emitter, the US, is making it actually harder to curb climate change. The United States will withdraw from the Paris Climate Accord. Not only has Trump promised to withdraw from the Paris Agreement, but he's also increased solar tariffs, opened up more areas to oil and gas drilling, and is rolling back environmental standards. And Trump, unsurprisingly, is already undermining the report. I want to look at who drew it, you know, which group drew it, because I can give you reports that are fabulous, and I can give you reports that aren't so good. In the meantime, states have taken it upon themselves to try and meet the Paris Agreement. Thanks to recently passed state laws, California is required to use 100% carbon-free electricity, and Hawaii is required to go 100% carbon neutral by 2045. But without federal policy, all these actions are just a drop in the bucket. The UN report is the most urgent we've seen from the multilateral organization. If significant collective action isn't taken right now, it'll be too late to stop the catastrophic consequences of climate change.